So, hello everybody, and welcome to your next C Sharp XNA platformer tutorial. So, in this tutorial, we're just gonna tweak one thing in the file manager class, and getting, and we're gonna get into saving content. So, uh, first of all, first and foremost, we we did this last tutorial, but there's one thing that I want to address. So, we have two different mode contents. We have one that has an identifier and one without. The one without an identifier, we can get rid of that. Just delete that right here. So now we're gonna say that uh, right here, we're just gonna be uh, at the top. Uh, we can say, yeah, at the top, we'll just say right here. Um, if I if if load equals whatever or identifier is equal to string dot empty so if they put nothing in the identifier section then uh, that means that there is apps there is no identifier and it should load in the same way that it does so what does that mean so we got to go to everything else and right here we'll just put an empty string meaning that we have no identifier uh, we'll go to our splash screen uh, we have no identifier in there. Uh, let's build this and let's run this. So, okay, everything seems to be running fine except for the player doesn't seem to be wanting to be loaded. So let's check. Uh, let's check this out. So let's go here. Uh, so oh yeah the difference is that right here we we'll, we say continue right uh what we want what we want to do is we could do two different things we could say that um we can get rid of this right here and we'll just put else if identifier equals to string dot empty then set identifier found equal to true and we can get rid of this right here to just save lines and just run this one more time and the player should be drawn okay so we're getting one uh, another error and it says it's not set to an instance of of an object so it looks like there was there was a, a bit of a problem so let's look at the entity manager um, so we get the file manager uh, right here we have our identifier everything seems to be looking fine and if we look at our contents we have that but it's not loading in our attributes so let's see what's going on so if we go to our file manager again identifier found equals to true so we should go here take in our attributes so let's see if it's actually loading in our attributes. Oh, that's for the map file. So let's go to our entity manager and okay, so when we get here, oh no, we skipped it already. Okay, but let's see if we see our file manager So our attributes is equal to null and our count is so something's going wrong when we're actually trying to load in uh the player. Okay, so as I uh, I just paused it and as I suspected, um if our identifier is equal to string dot null, then it, it probably contains it within the line, right? Uh so what we have to do is uh let's just put this right here and we'll just set this as the else if and let's run this and there voila we got the player drawn to the screen okay so we got that part done and so now it comes to saving the content now I already got this done, 
Um, I already uh, did it just because I I don't do save content a lot, right? Uh, so uh, just to retype it again, I might forget a little bit of things here and there. So I already got it written out, but I will explain every single aspect of it, right? Uh, so this method is gonna be called uh, save content. We're gonna take in a file name, a string array of attributes we want to save, a string array of contents we want to save and an identifier if we want to look for an identifier within the file right so instead of saying if identifier is equal to null we'll put string dot empty so if the identifier is equal to string dot empty then we'll set identifier found equals to true okay so now we're going to make a string array called lines and we call uh, we call file dot read on li lines and we'll read all the lines from our file name so that will get all the contents from the file we create a list call file list and we set a new instance of it and then we call file list dot add range so we use that to add in our array into our list right and then we create a variable called i and we'll set it to file list dot count and we'll create two temporary variables called attribute and content and we'll set them to string dot empty and you'll see why in a second so if our identifier is not found then we then we will reset i equals zero so it won't be the the file list dot count anymore it'll be set to zero we'll loop to the file list dot count and sorry for that i gotta plug in my computer so it will loop to the how much files how much lines we have in it and then if we get end load equals right and we get the identifier and it contains the identifier then we will set identifier equals to true why don't we do it at load equals or whatever uh, the reason being is that we want to well actually you know what no actually we we can uh, let's see know what we'll put load equals so what this will do is that it will add it to the top of our the uh, top of our documents so we can tell it's a new item right so we'll put load equals there and what we're gonna do it will set identifier equals to true and we'll have a break statement so then we'll loop through all the attributes we have and we will add um uh, uh, bracket braces around each one put the attribute name and put it like so so let's say we have uh, two attributes called attribute one and attribute two it will do this so put this all in a string okay so I'll put it like that and then we'll add that to, we'll add a empty string to the file list right and then we'll say uh, I plus plus uh, just to create uh, just to create a space and what we would do is call file is insert we will insert I right so if the if if the identif if there's no identifier then it will be at the bottom of the document right uh, because of I is going to be set to file is dot count if uh, if there uh, if if there is an identifier that we need to search for then load uh then it will find load equals and then it will set it to the topmost part of it uh yeah so the topmost part of that area of the document okay so we'll put add load equals plus the attribute at that section of the file we'll increase i by one then we'll loop through all the contents right we'll add we'll do the same thing as we did with the uh, to the contents as we did with the attributes but now we're going to say that if j plus 1, the modulus of the attributes long length equals to 0, then we want to insert it, set content to, um, equal to string empty, and then i plus plus. Uh, why, what is this going to do? So say that we have um, one attribute, okay? So what, what, uh, if we have one attribute, uh, let me just put this at the bottom. So if we have one uh, attribute uh, and we want to put contents under it, then we would have to put our content one, and then we'd have to put our content two, and so on and so forth. Right? We don't want to do the same thing with uh, with our attributes where we list it in one long line. Depending on the amount of attributes we have, we want to do it in that order. So if we have two attributes, 
or yeah so then we would take this put it on this line and then for all the other contents we would add it there and add it there and so on and so forth so that's essentially what's going on here if that confuses you just let me know be in the line below and after we make a call to file dot write all lines and then we store in file names we convert it to an array and that should be it right and that should be it for the uh for the program so what we're gonna do is to test this out uh let me check how much time okay so we're gonna test this out uh in in the map file so let's just go to um let's just go to map dot cs and in the load content method do that does that have a file manager no it doesn't uh, so what we're gonna do uh, let's see which which class is a file manager uh, let's okay let's put in the splash screen so in the load content the splash screen uh, just at the top or at the bottom actually we'll just put file manager dot save content okay so we'll put in the file name Okay, we'll put in our attributes that we want to put in. So let's just create a string of attributes now uh, quickly. So we'll say attribute one, and that's that'll be it. And for our content, we'll call this attribute, we'll call this content. So we'll put content one, content two, okay? So we'll put in our attribute in there, content in there, and uh, for our identifier, we will have uh, nothing for an identifier. So let's run th this code. Oh, and we already have a content there. Let's just create, make it a capital C. Uh, is there a problem? Okay, so let's just name it CC content, whatever. C content. Okay, let's run this. And we're gonna exit this quickly. And if we go to our map, it's we're gonna notice that it's not indeed modified. So if we go up here, no, not no our splash screen, sorry. So we're gonna notice that our splash is not modified at all what we have to do is go to our project file uh, and if we go to our bin folder we go to debug load and let's just open it with notepad and did I type that in correctly yeah load slash dots CME let's see if it can even execute this It doesn't even reach. Oh yeah, we're not calling splash screen. Oh, so let's go to our screen manager quickly. In our main methods, we will set in our initialize, we'll set it to the our splash screen. And uh I'm not sure what's wrong with the splash screen now, but It should make a call to save content and as we can see we re reload it and voila if we look at it we can see that it created a new addition into our file now the reason the, the big reason why we need to go into our our, our times 86 debug and load uh, the reason being is that we s s copy it to the output directory so in the next tutorial I'll, I'll show you everything you need to do in order uh, to not make you to actually modify the original document. So that's it for this long tutorial. Sorry for making it so long, but uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, don't forget to comment and subscribe, and bye.